Hi, my name is Michael Shields. I am the new brand ambassador for Christie's Direct 2020. I'm going to now just bath my wee dog and I'm just going to show you a few wee tips of what to look out for and what not to do. First of all, I will wet the dog and then I will use this little tub here, just a, any, any wee basin, anything, just put a wee drop of shampoo on here and fill it up. And then I will show you what, exactly what it is I do whenever I'm grooming or whenever I'm washing my dogs, okay? So it'll take a few wee seconds here for the water to heat up and then we will get at it. All right, hopefully you can see this and you can hear me. Now the, the, the products that I would use would be Grim Professional shampoo and I would use a detangling shampoo or an olive, aloe wonder so it's like an aloe vera shampoo this is the one I'm going to choose today because he has he has uh, flaky skin he has very dry skin so anybody that any anybody out there that wants to wash their dogs and if they have any kind of scalp skin allergies then I wouldn't wash them in a normal shampoo or any other shampoo other than aloe vera or tea tree or um, first aid shampoo all you can get all that at Christie's as well and this would be my favorite here the aloe vera because it soothes the skin it's nice and smooth and it's a lovely shampoo for for the dog just put a wee drop on to the basin Not that much, just a wee drop. And fill it up. Then obviously you just rinse your dog. Leaving the head to last, because if you do the head first, the dog will shake all over the place in your bathroom, will be soaking. So, this is little Milo. Little Milo's one of my own wee dogs, he's a wee schnauzer. People think he's a wee Scotty because of his ears sticking up, but it's just the way he is. He's got uh, rabbit and headlight ears, you know, they just stand up. So just give your dog a wee quick glance and go around his wee beard. The Milo hasn't been done in a while, so there's a couple of pats on that in him, but you'll see that in the next video. How do you, how do you get rid of that while you're crying? And the aloe vera too is a nice smoothing, soothing shampoo that will soothe the skin as you're washing. So this is aloe wonder, wonder, it's the same kind of thing. Now I just use a loafer, get it in there, the shampoo on and wash them. They call these scrunchies, I call them a wee loafer. Just a wee scrunchie out of the pound shop. Get in there, and give us a wee coat of wash. Now always do two washes because the first shampoo will just get rid of the, the, the dirt lift all the dirt off the coat <clears throat> and then your second shampoo will leave the dog nice and fresh and looking well and leave the coat really soft just scrub everywhere with it now if you're doing it on a wool coated dog it's exactly the same I would use on a wool coated dog I would use Big and Beautiful Big and Beautiful on a wool coat what I mean is Bichon or Poodle or anything like that I would use a Big and Beautiful shampoo Big and Beautiful is what I use all every day for all those wool coated dogs and it's a fantastic shampoo as well. It gives a good bit of volume to the coat. Now guys, um, if you're doing this from home and your dogs haven't been groomed in a while, I'll show you the, how to get the dog cut later on and hopefully it can help you. <coughs> right, these are just wee short demo videos that I'm doing. So I'll show you how to do it. That's the first wash. Just rinse it thoroughly, get it all off. <clears throat> and if you don't have a bath, just pop them under the shower and do it. As long as you've got a shower head, you rinse it off. You don't really need that neither. You can take them out the back and use hot soapy water in basins. And then nice, look warm, sorry, look warm water, not hot soapy water, look warm water in basins. 
and just mix up your shampoo in the basin as well and just cover the dog with it and give him a good scrub and do it twice and then just run, make sure you rinse it off thoroughly because leaving shampoo in the dog's coat can irritate the skin as well even though this is for this type of coat that has or this type of skin that has a dry skin or flaky skin or whatever it, is it may be that you have then this shampoo will do it no harm but do you wash it off guys because if you don't wash it off thoroughly then it'll leave the coat it can end up building up a mildew in the coat and leaving the coat or the skin very itchy it's like your own hair you'll always wash it twice and you'll always rinse it well or you'll get dandruff This shampoo's lovely in your hands too, it's a lovely feeling, nice and soft. Always rub away from the eyes, don't put the shampoo in the eyes. Rub the top of the head and then push the shampoo away from the eyes. And then when you're doing his wee beard or any, I mean whatever dog it may be, it's exactly the same technique. Just give it a wee scrub of your fingers. Get another wee bit of shampoo in there. And give it a wee scrub of your fingers. Get all that dirt out. Whatever's left, just pour it over the dog. Rub it through. Get on round them wee feet. In between the toes. Give it a wee scrub. And in between the pads, give it a wee scrub. Because all the wee polygons of dirt can stick in there. And then that can cause problems in the skin. Because then it can build up and get a mat in there. But I will show you how to clip that in the next wee demo. When you're rinsing the head, rinse the ears forward. And when you're rinsing the top of the head, hold the head down and the water, let the water run down the way. Don't let it, don't go into the eyes. Run it down that way. It's far better for the wee dog so it will not hurt its wee eyes. And the, water, the hair will act as a shield so that the, hair, the water doesn't go into the eyes. When you're rinsing the ears, hold the ears flat and just rinse them out. If you have to, just if you have a bath, then you can tie the dog lead or you can buy a wee noose off Christie's or whatever it is and you can um, tie the dog to the handle or even the taps, you can do it on the taps as well so that he doesn't jump out on you. you just keep on his wee collar or whatever it is you may have to hold him in. I use these wee aqua mats, they're great. These are groomed professional. They're like a big chamois for a car, but they're dog towels. And all you do, they suck the water off the dog. They are fantastic. Just dab them over the dog's coat. You don't have to rub, just dab it. And you'll see how much water comes off this towel whenever I've got it. the wee dog dabbed all over. These things are brilliant. They just suck the water off the dog's coat. Now remember, not all you can't use all shampoos because for, for skin conditions, look out. Just be careful if your dog's got any allergies, like um, if he's got skin condition, if he's got any uh, dry patches on his coat or like a scaly skin coming off or whatever, or anything at all along those lines, then I would stick to the Aloe Wonder, which is like an aloe vera shampoo, or you can get <coughs> you can get um, 
first aid shampoo, which is double K shampoo. If you have like a Westy with really bad skin or anything like that, be careful, do not put any other shampoo on the dog other than something that is recommended for that skin type. And if you ask the girls here at Christie's, they will, they, they will be able to direct you in the right direction of shampoo. Now for your wool coated dogs, your Bichons, your Poodles, your Kerry Blues and things like that, I always use a volumizing shampoo. You don't necessarily have to do that. But for me, the big and beautiful shampoo would be brilliant for that type of coat. Then the aloe shampoo, as I said, for anything with dry skin, skin conditions, anything like that. Other shampoos that you can use as well, there's all different range. So if you just contact uh, Christie's if you're looking for shampoos and you want a bit of advice of what, what to use, just tell them your dog's coat or whatever type of coat it is and them girls will know exactly what to give you because they are brilliant at what they do. They know exactly what shampoos goes with what. So guys, this is just a wee demo on uh, bathing your dog in, at home. I then would get a nice slicker brush. I don't do, normally do this in an everyday salon trim, but, or everyday salon bath, but I would get a slicker brush when the dog's wet, because when the coat's wet, then you're not going to break the coat. You can just brush through the coat, because the, the water will moisturize the coat and help you, the brush to go through the coat, and just slightly go over the dog's coat while he's wet, and just brush it out in the bath and it'll also help you whenever you're drying as well because you've brushed it all out straight and it'll be easier for you to dry it whenever you start drying and I'll show you wee drying techniques in a minute but these wee brushes here these are called um, slicker brushes but they're the amplifier brush they're fantastic for brushing through the dog's coat the nice long pins on them and they grip the coat and pull it through and that goes for every type of coat you can use it on as well and <coughs> just combing through the dog and guys if this wee video helps if you have any other questions if you have a specific breed or anything contact Christie's themselves or put a comment under the wee video and they will let me know and then I'll put up another one with um, a wee bit of knowledge on that coat and that coat type of what it should it be a wired hair coat or a hand strap coat or whatever it is you need to know we will help you as much as we can through this bad time because it is terrible these times Just a quick brush through. Good boy. Yeah, no, good boy. And that's that part of the bath and done. Just a wee quick brush in the bath. Now, if your dog has a wee bit of uh, See, mats and things like that, I'll show you how you, what, what, what I would recommend for you to use after you wash the dog. It is a wee bottle of Amazing Tricks. It's just a detangling spray, it's a conditioning spray, and all you do is just spray it on the dog, down its wee legs, just a wee quick spray, just before you bat, you dry. Don't spray it in its eyes, you put it behind the dog. Now this stuff here, there's no chemicals on it, so it's very, very good, and it's good for dogs with even skin conditions and things like that. It will not do them any harm. It's just a wee detangling shampoo, and it is fantastic stuff. It's called Amazing Tricks. Now, hopefully this will help you at home, and you can um, put a comment underneath if you need to. I'll just put this camera up so you can see who I am. I'm Michael, by the way. And uh, if you have to, just put a comment underneath. And if it's some certain breed or certain type of coat that you're worried about and how to, how to maintain it and things like that, just leave your comment and then I will comment under it or the girls will be able to send you the answers or if you want, then or, or I can do another wee demo, but some of the dogs I don't have. I've got nine dogs and most of them's poodles, so <laughs> I don't have much wired hair dogs or anything like that. But like Cocker Spaniel and all, I've got one of those. If, you've any, if you're worried about your dog's coat, just... As I say, put a wee comment underneath and I'll be glad to help. Hi everybody, if you have any questions on running a salon or dog grooming questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow us on social media at Christie's Direct.